Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Growing Up with Chinese. Now, Xiaoming and Mike are continuing their exploration of Shanghai, and today brings them to, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Now, our skit today is too long to fit into one episode, so just so you all know, we'll be continuing it next time. So let's check in with our duo right now and see what they're up to. Chen 是啊,千千,快說吧,我們到底去哪兒啊? 这有这么多动物标本啊不然咱们去看四地电影吧 你看,这个大水龙头太神奇了。是啊,怎么可能? 是不是留下的水里藏了一根蜘蛛啊？对对对，我也想到了，留下来的水正好把蜘蛛盖住了，所以水龙头看起来就像是悬在半空中似的。你们俩真聪明，我猜了好久才猜出来的呢。咱们快
So, feng liang hua is an expression that means irresponsible and sarcastic remarks. Chen Chen, you didn't say today that you brought us to a very interesting place. Where is it? Yes. We walked so much, we didn't even see a single eye. Don't worry about feng liang hua. Mike, don't worry. Wait a minute, I'll give you a surprise. Okay, Chen Chen. I'll ask you. Let's go to the hospital. The weather is so hot. How do you say it? It's about 35 degrees. I don't want to go anywhere. I love zebras. I love zebras. Banma is how you say zebra in Chinese. And yes, for those of you who are familiar with the expression zebra stripes in English, in other words, a crosswalk for pedestrians, in Chinese you can also say zebra stripes to refer to a crosswalk. Banma xian. Now, Xiaoming used the expression xu xu ru sheng to refer to the zebra they saw. This means lifelike or vivid. Xu Xu actually means lifelike or vivid on its own. And Zhu Sheng could be translated as just like it's living. Xu Xu Zhu Sheng. There are so many animals in the animals. It's like they came to the Great Wall of China. Look, look at this horse. It's Xu Xu Zhu Sheng. 我最喜欢斑马了。你们俩最想看什么？我给你们当导游。倩倩，带我去看机器人吧，我特别喜欢。哎呀，麦克，机器有什么好看的？倩倩，我听说这里有个实验。倩倩，不然咱们去看四 D 电影吧。哎呀，好了好了，你们各说各的，我该听谁的呀？这样吧，咱们边走边看，最后去看四 D 电影。就这样了。Now, one of my favorite words in Chinese appears in our dialogue today, and that is shui long tou, or faucet, tap. Now, the reason why I like this word so much in Chinese is because of the picture it creates in my head. Shui, we know, means water, right? And long means dragon. Tou means head. So, if you let your imagination go, Faucets do sort of resemble a dragon head, do they not? So anyway, now you have a fun way to remember this vocabulary word, shui long tou, faucet. Mike, look at this big shui long tou, it's so cool. Yes, how can it be? How can it be in the water? It's not possible, it's not possible. 我第一次看到这个水龙头的时候，也吓了一跳。小明、麦克，你们猜猜这是怎么回事？让我想想啊，不会啊？哦，原来秘密在这里。倩倩，是不是留下的水里藏了一根支柱啊？对对对，我也想到了。留下来的水正好把支柱盖住了，所以水龙头看起来就像是悬在半空中似的。你们俩真聪明，我猜了好久才猜出来的呢。<笑>咱们快走吧，别的地方还有好多好玩的呢。All right, it's vocabulary time. Let's take a look at what we have lined up for today. 卖关子。Pause at a climax in storytelling to keep the listeners in suspense. Keep people guessing. Be deliberately mystifying. 卖关子。标本 specimen, sample. 标本。机器人 robot. 机器人。悬 hang, suspend. Xuan. Museums are always fun places to visit, and the Shanghai Science and Technology Museum certainly deserves a trip. It's located in Pudong, right near Century Park, which is Shanghai's largest park, which is actually also well worth a visit. Now, the museum was opened to the public in December of 2001 and has since been host to over 10 million visitors. 
Now, as you might be able to imagine if you've ever been to a science and technology museum, this one offers a complete hands-on experience. There are IMAX theaters, tons of interactive exhibits, including one exhibit where you can actually walk inside a model of a human heart and brain. Pretty cool, huh? Now, there's a simulated tropical rainforest complete with robotic beetles and a bat cave for those of you who are interested in the environment. And to top it all off, there's one exhibition you might not get to experience if you visit a science and technology museum in a different country. It's the Chinese Ancient Science and Technology Gallery. Now, outside the museum, there's a shopping center that sells all kinds of goodies, including little models of helicopters that can actually fly. I have one. It's a lot of fun. It's language point time, everyone. So let us begin with something 少说也. Now, something 少说也 expresses a guess or something that you might infer. The shao in this expression means zhi shao or at least. So today Xiaoming said, Tian Xi Shao Shu Yeo San Shu Wu Liu Du. Today is so hot, it's got to be at least 35 or 36 degrees. Now he doesn't know this for a fact, so Shao Shu Ye is used to relay that it's a guess. He's inferring it. You could also say, Ta Shao Shu Ye Yo San Shu Sui. He's got to be at least 30. Or you could say, Tong Shanghai Chu Beijing, Zuo Feiji Shao Shu Ye De Liang Ge Xiao Shi. It takes at least two hours on the plane to get from Shanghai to Beijing. Shall we look at some more examples? Wow, this is a small cat. Very cute. I guess it's about 1,000 yuan. Mom, how long did you go to Shanghai? It's about a week. Okay, next up we have a pattern. May something, may something. Now, this is a pattern that typically uses specific verbs or nouns to create a specific pattern. So today, Chen Chen said, 你们俩的问题真是没完没了. The two of you have unending questions. So our set pattern here is 没完没了, which means without finish or unending. And it can carry with it a slight tone of annoyance. So, for example, I could say, 他说起来没完没了,大家听得都快睡着了. When he starts talking, there's no end. Everyone almost falls asleep listening to him. 这雨下得没完没了的。是啊,天气预报说明天还有雨。小明,你别没完没了的唱,让我也唱一首。下首歌就是你的。and finally, we have another pattern, ge something, ge da. Now, this pattern expresses that everyone does his or her own thing, so everyone acts independently. Now, typically, the verb that follows the first ge is monosyllabic, so ge zuo ge da, you do your own thing. Ge kan ge da, you look around on your own. Ge shuo ge da is what we heard in today's dialogue. Mike and Xiaoming were both speaking at the same time, and, and Chen Chen responded, responded to this hullabaloo by saying, 你们各说各的, 我该听谁的呀? You guys take turns speaking. Who should I be listening to? 你们今天怎么各玩各的, 吵架了? 都是他的错。小明,咱们应该从这边走。不对, 不对我觉得应该这么走。那咱们各走各的,看看谁先到。好了,我们今天剩的时间不多了, we've just about run out of time for today, but I hope you all enjoyed seeing more of Shanghai. Now, don't forget to visit our website if you want to review anything or watch today's episode again. And while you're there, please leave us some comments or send in any questions you might have. Your feedback is very important to us. Okay, I will see you all next time. 大家,加油! 下次见, bye for now.